Hey, you and the kids got this? Let's go get all doled up. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Drive safe, boys. Hey, genius, what do you got planned for us next year? Were we gonna get our appendix removed? I don't think we should go on these trips anymore, Dad. Clearly, you're getting too old, huh? Yeah. Says the man in the wheelchair. What's going on? Boom, get back here! What happened? He just started seizing. Move that wheelchair. I need out of bed now. <laughs> I bet a seizure is why the dad lost control of the car. CDs? Well, they look normal, but the CSF from the lumbar puncture showed white and red cells for both. I thought a hematologist should take a closer look. It could be infection. Or exposure. Which is why I paged you both, and I believe in my heart of hearts that you guys are gonna figure it out. You guys. I am late for a fundraiser, doctor. Oh, that. Guess who apologized? No. Mm. It was a sincere one, too. Really gushy. How'd you feel about that? I don't know. It was definitely easier getting over him when he was being a dick. <laughs> hey, are you gonna come tonight? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Come. We well, deserve to have some fun. <laughs> because of your unusual symptoms, it would be helpful to know exactly where have you been and whom you have come in contact with. Well, like I said, we've been outside the country. I begged to go to Hawaii, but my son insisted on northern Canada. We take a father-son adventure every year since my mom died. Every year? He complains. Have you ever tried moose jerky? I wanted to see the glaciers. Yeah, you know what's left of them? The snow was so wet it was like trudging through a slurry. I'm sorry about everything. They don't appear to understand the severity of their current situation. Good, let's keep it that way. I believe this is negrolysis. Mm, but there was no warm water for swimming up there. An arbovirus is more likely if there were mosquitoes around. Perhaps we should test them for rabies if they slept in a room with a bat. If they'd slept in a room with a bat, I'm confident we'd have heard about it. So we do a full panel? Yeah. Poor, Dr. Sharp. The Americans have been moved into isolation, and here are their test results. Could you get us hard copies? Printers are down. Get IT on those printers and find us another tablet, please. Okay. It's not neglaritis or botulism. It's not anything. All their tests are clean. But something's wrong with them. There's one possibility we have not yet considered. Busy or anything? We have two patients in isolation who are exhibiting identical symptoms. They recently returned from hiking the Canadian Rockies. On oh, melting permafrost. We have tested them for every known disease, but nothing has come back positive. What's more, their condition is only getting worse. Their BPs are falling and their fevers are spiking. As more and more ice thaws, long dormant pathogens are waking up. Are you telling me there may be some ancient disease floating around our hospital? Yes, yeah, we are. That's about right. Look, I'm not saying it isn't some ancient pathogen that we've never heard of, can't test for, and couldn't possibly treat. I am simply suggesting that we should focus on other diseases that we could actually, you know, cure. We've been through it, Max. Vasculitis? Their kidney function's fine. Carbon monoxide. Wouldn't account for the seizures. Morantic endocarditis. We'd have seen thrombotic vegetations in the CTs. <laughs> Mercury poisoning? I read the Arctic permafrost has something like 20 swimming pools of pure mercury. The more the ice melts, the more mercury is released into the ecosystem. Our patients hike through, absorb it. It would indeed fit the symptoms. We'll work up a treatment of dimacapril right away. Great. And while you two are here heroically saving lives, I will be charming rich people out of their money. Chris! Chris attack! What's happening to my boy? BP is bottling out. Heart rate's climbing. His blood and urine. His kidneys are failing. BAL is tearing through his body. Pass me the Andrew bag. It should have been me. It's not Mercury. It should have been me, I told you. You should have tested it on me. Gonna be all right. We are in uncharted waters here, Mr. Markin. But, but would you have to be able to do something, right? Your son's reaction to the BAL has provided us with invaluable information. Information we will use to seek out another diagnosis. She so really have no idea what we have or how to cure it. No.
every year um, we take these adventures together and uh, and I complain and Chris complains that I complain. But the truth is, is that I look forward to these trips more than anything in the world. Now that he's grown, I, that's all. It's the only time that I have with him. I don't get enough time. I just don't get enough time with her kids. Finally, it's working. <sighs> For God's sake. Useless technology. You were right. What do you mean? You were right from the very start. The technology got it wrong. Our test results got it wrong. Think about it. This whole time we've been testing for today's pathogens. But today's pathogens are all mutated, evolved variants of much older strains. What those men were exposed to up there was a much older strain of a very common infection. So even if it were a 99% match, our equipment will still read it as a negative result. Exactly. Their initial symptoms were telling you they were suffering from nagloriasis. Our collective wisdom and experience were telling us they were suffering from nagloriasis. And our equipment could not see it. This may be an ancient strain, but it's essentially the same old amoeba. Which means today's treatment should still be effective. <laughs>